Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you a super easy way to jailbreak your Fire Stick. It will take you only a couple of minutes. And without any further ado, let me show you how to fully load your Amazon Fire Stick device. First of all, we'll have to get an app called Downloader. We can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. Just go to search on our device, here it is, and in the search bar, start typing Downloader. As you can see, it already popped out for us at the bottom. So now we click on Downloader. And that's the app which we need to get to our device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. And to set up the loader, we'll go to settings. So here they are. Then scroll down and go to My Fire TV. Open it. Here you have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About. Select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times, and do it fast. So let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer. That's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now. And if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then go to install unknown apps, and from here, turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those which are available in the official Amazon App Store. And pretty much that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now go to the list of apps on your device, here it is, open it, and there's the downloader app, which we set up and it is ready to use. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN, because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use, and they're not expensive for such a premium service. In fact, they cost less than a cup of coffee per month, which is great news for us, the users. In the VPN app, you just connect to any server, let's say I will connect to Germany right now, and from the moment we connect, all our traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online, and that's extremely important if you wish to stay out of trouble. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you'd like to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your computer or your mobile phone, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN and 3 months for free. Or just scan the QR code, which you can see on your screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and it's also going to give you 3 months of NordVPN for free. And now, finally, let's use the loader safely. So we open the downloader application, on the left side menu make sure to click on home, that's important, and then here in that search bar we'll have to type Uptight TV. So let's do it. Basically Uptight TV is the alternative app store which we'll be using to jailbreak our Fire Stick. It works quite like the official Amazon App Store, but it has some applications which are not available in the official Amazon App Store by default. Now just wait a couple of seconds until the search results load, and there's the link which we're looking for, it's tv.optoid.com, that's the official website of Optoid TV, and that's exactly what we're looking for, so let's click on it, and now the website should open for us, yep, here it is, we scroll down until we see that huge download button, which says download Optoid TV, we click on it, and wait until Optoid TV gets downloaded to our Fire Stick, then click on the install button, after that, do not click on open yet, instead press on done, because this way we'll be able to delete the installation files, as we don't really need them anymore on our device. Click on delete, and then delete once again. After that, we'll have to go to settings one more time. So go here, click on my fire TV, developer options, install known apps, and now turn that option on for Aptoid TV as well, it's a must to allow it to download other apps from the internet. After that, go to the list of applications on the device, scroll down, and there's Webtoid TV, which we just installed to our Fire Stick. Now I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote, that's the button with three horizontal lines. Click on it, and then press on Move to Front. 
This way, Aptoy TV is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. And then of course, don't forget to keep your VPN connected to stay safe and out of trouble online. And once again, you can use my promo link, which will be in the description of the video, or just go to topvpnoffer.com to get three months of NordVPN for free. After that, let's open up Toy TV app, click OK here. Then we'll have to allow access to files on our device, because otherwise Aptoid TV would not be able to install other apps from the internet. So we click on allow, and from now on you can go to discover on the left side of the menu, and here take a look at the most popular apps at the moment, then scroll down to see the new arrivals. There will be some streaming apps, some gaming apps, but my favorite part of the application is of course that part with the categories. So let's say if you are interested in social media applications, you select that categories and there will be loads of applications. If you are into music and audio, you select that category. If you're looking for health and fitness content, then you select that category, sports, education, finance, travel, media and video. Basically, there are lots of categories and each category holds tens or even hundreds of different applications, which is amazing. And pretty much that's it, that's the easy way to jailbreak your Fire Stick in 2024. Click the like button if the video is helpful and see you next time. Bye bye.